Brexit, the world's most unsolvable puzzle. <laughs> yeah, it's like if a 12-sided Rubik's Cube was also one of the traps from Saw. And uh, <laughs> just 41 days after Boris Johnson came in saying that he'd get it done, yesterday, he officially lost control of his government after members of his own party defected to the opposition. Yeah, in fact, Johnson's entire day in Parliament was complete chaos. The political turmoil in the UK, where new Prime Minister Boris Johnson is facing a major defeat in the battle over Brexit. But, Mr. Speaker, I know he's worried about free trade deals with America, but there's only one chlorinated chicken that I can see in this house, and he's on that bench. When will the Prime Minister finally apologise for his derogatory and racist remarks? Racist remarks, Mr Speaker, which have led to a spike in hate crime. The people of Scotland voted to remain in the European Union. We're not going to be dragged out against our will by the Prime Minister. Order! Very rude for members. Order! Order! Don't rant. Spare us the theatrics. Behave yourself. Be a good boy, young man. Be a good boy. Be a good boy. Order. Order. That guy would be such a nightmare behind you in the line at Subway. Uh, I don't know if I want to get the banana pep. Order. Order. Honestly, I don't get why anyone still thinks they can do Brexit. You realize now it has destroyed three prime ministers. I mean, clearly it's cursed. It's like one of the treasures in an Indiana Jones movie. Everyone who touches it <laughs> is just gonna be, like, melting. Be like, I'm worthy of the pound. No! <laughs> At this point, things in Britain are so bad. Like, I think one of the old countries should just colonize them. <laughs> yeah, shit is out of control, people. Look at these savages. They don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Someone just come in and bring stuff in. Like, India should come to England and be like, look, 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 we hate to do this, but you guys don't know how to govern yourselves. <laughs> we have to... We have to fix this. We have to fix this entire thing. <laughs> it's for you, it's not for us. You know what's funny is, when I was watching that fight in British Parliament, with everyone going off, like, the Scottish guy's like, we have the Scottish Union vote. It's like, oh, da. It reminded me of How to Train Your Dragon. <laughs> Seriously, like, you could switch out the Vikings' voices with Parliament, and I promise you the movie would still sound right. Order! Very rude for members. Order! Order! Don't gesticulate. Don't rant. Spare us the theatrics. Behave yourself. Be a good boy, young man. Be a good boy. Order! <laughs> See, it works. All right, let's move on from international news to interstellar news. Last week, news broke that an astronaut might have logged into her estranged spouse's bank account without permission, which, if proved, would make that the first space crime ever. Yeah, well, technically, the second space crime. The first one was when the lunar lander back racked up all those parking tickets. <laughs> yeah, oh, that was illegal. You can't just park there forever. <laughs> yeah, but that was a violation, technically. This would be the first real crime. And you know what's amazing? Is that the first crime in space would have been committed by a woman. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> That's right, ladies. That's right. You break that glass ceiling, girl. No, not literally. Now you're being sucked into space. <laughs> you guys remember a few days ago, President Trump warned that Alabama was in the path of Hurricane Dorian. And then the National Weather Service had to tell Alabama that the hurricane was not coming to Alabama and that they should ignore the president. Well, today, Trump came out to show everyone that he was right. President Donald Trump appeared to show this altered map of Hurricane Dorian's original trajectory. And you'll see in the picture, uh, there's a black line that goes beyond Florida around Alabama. And so it appears that that was added to this map from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. And you see it was going to hit uh, not only Florida, but Georgia could have, uh, was going toward the Gulf. That was what we, what was originally projected. Did he draw... Did he draw with a Sharpie? 